Hello, today we will be learning about drag. We will also be doing an experiment involving drag with simple objects. Drag is one of the four forces of flight. Drag is the force that acts opposite to the direction of motion. It is caused by friction and differences in air pressure. Although drag is present in both planes and rockets, it is also present in all objects because it is generated by the interaction and contact of a solid body with a fluid which is a liquid or a gas. For this experiment, we will need tape, scissors, pennies, colored tape, recording device or timer, and a printable template which you can find in the description of the video. First, cut out all the shapes from the templates. Then, take the cube template and fold along all of the lines. Then, use tape to connect all edges of the cube together. Repeat with the other cube. Cut out all the pieces of the cone. Then fold the paper into a cone and tape to secure the edges. Attach the circle to the bottom of the cone. Repeat with the other cone. Now, attach one penny to one cone and one cube and attach two pennies to the other cone and the other cube. Do this using tape. Now, pick two different colors of tape. Use one color for the shapes with one penny and one color for the shapes with two pennies. You can also use markers or something else, just make sure you can differentiate between the shapes with one penny and the shapes with two pennies. Now that you are done building your shapes, let's make a hypothesis. Do you think the cubes or cones will fall faster? Do you think the amount of pennies will affect how fast the shapes fall? Now you are going to test your hypothesis. You can either use a recording device or a timer for this experiment. Pick a spot where you can drop your objects from. You can drop the objects from standing or off a ledge of any height. If you are using a device that can record, set up the device so it is facing where you will drop your object. Then drop the objects two at a time. Make sure to start recording before you drop the objects. Drop the cube and the cone at the same time. Make sure to use the cube and the cone with the same amount of pennies. Then, try dropping two cubes or two cones to see if the amount of pennies affect the amount of time the shapes will spend in the air. Watch the recordings and see which of your shapes fell first. If you are using a timer, start the timer when you drop the object and end the timer when it reaches the ground. Compare the cube and the cone to see which fell faster. Compare the two cubes and the two cones to see if the amount of pennies affects the time it takes for the shapes to fall. You can also experiment with larger amounts of pennies or different paper shapes. Observe what happens when you drop a cube and a cone with one penny each and a cube and a cone with two pennies each. Also, observe what happens when you drop two cubes, one with one penny and one with two pennies. Which one falls faster? Did the cube or the cone fall faster? The cone should have fallen faster because it has less drag and is a more streamlined object. Was your hypothesis correct? Did the cube with one penny or the cube with two pennies fall faster? Did the cone with one penny or the cone with two pennies fall faster? The objects with one penny should have fallen just as fast as the object with two pennies, because mass does not affect how fast an object falls. 
Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Subscribe to the Boundless Brilliance YouTube channel for more content.